Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It is currently 7.33 in the morning um, and today I'm really excited to announce that I'm working again with Pro Direct Running. Um, we recently did a 100 kilometer uh, relay race in London promoting uh, the uh, new Nike Vaporfly and Alphafly about two months ago now, which was a really fun day out. But today we're going to the Surrey Hills in Box Hill. Um, to film a promotional video for the Terra Kiger 8. So today will be the first run I do in this trail shoe um, from Pro Direct. Um, I'm interested to take it out. Um, I haven't even put this on my foot yet, so hopefully it fits. Um, and today we're doing sort of like a challenge type video. Um, that's all I know at the moment. I'm also gonna be trying out the new Nike Trail um, backpack or running vest. Um, this actually comes with water bottles as well. I've taken them out at the moment. Maybe I should put one of them in if it's um, if it's going to be a warm day. But I think unfortunately it's going to be a little bit wet down there today. But we'll see how we get on with that, and we will see how we get on with the Terra Kiger 8, which is a brand new um, Nike trail shoe. Yeah, really excited to get started. Um, I need to leave in 10 minutes, so I need to to buck my ideas up. So if you watched um, the last few videos on the channel, you'll know that I've been having some car problems. So we're not risking it today. I'm taking Meg's little car, um, her Toyota Yaris. Hopefully that will get me to the Surrey Hills. Um, just put it in the postcode. So it's an hour and 26 minutes till we arrive, um, which means I'll get there about half nine. Um, with filming starting at 10 o'clock. So yeah, that should leave me with plenty of time. Um, but without further ado, let's hit the road. Four minutes away, stopped at Acosta on the way. I used to work at Starbucks um, when we moved back from Sweden, so yeah, still hurts me to stop at, at Costa, but yeah, I needed my coffee this morning, left in a little bit of a rush, uh, but yeah, feeling good. I'll leave a link to everyone who is featured in this video, who has YouTube channels, Instagrams, everything like that in the description so you can go check out the content that they've put out from today. Also going to be seeing uh, Katie and Tom from Pro Direct, who have been really kind to me recently um, in sorting me out with Kit um, and inviting me to stuff like this. So yeah, massive thank you to you, to you guys again, you know who you are. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. It's a bit, bit of a pinch me moment that, yeah, driving down to Surrey, um, is actually now my my job um, absolutely yeah super lucky um, and I can't wait to, to get involved today hey are you all right yeah good thank you how you doing yeah good. nice to meet you yeah nice to meet you my name's Poppy, Poppy. Yeah. yeah nice to meet you this is very surreal <laughs> I know yeah have you ever been to Park no I haven't no yeah, first no, time I haven't either. looks lovely hey Andy hey, how nice are you, to meet you, you finally good? yeah good thanks yeah. Hi Tom, How's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah. So yeah, so this is our this is our van. Um yeah, so we can obviously just keep it like open and stuff if it does unfortunately start raining and we can all just kind of pitch in here. Um this is like um again if you need like charging stuff as well if you need to charge your phones at any point as well, you can do that in here. Where we are today. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, it's cool. nice. Quite cute, isn't it? It's actually very comfy. Yeah, I was wearing mine yesterday actually. So just arrived at Box Hill in Surrey, uh, about an hour and 20 minutes drive. Met the team, um, Poppy, Alex, Andy and myself. So we're going to be competing in two teams. I've been teamed up with Alex, so yeah. She's just gone to the, we're just gonna to pop to the loo now, basically. Before we get started and hear what the first challenge is, um, from looking at our watch, we've been given um, Garmin watches that have got sort of routes um, programmed into them. Um, there's one called an endurance run, which seems to be a 5K trail run, and then a speed challenge, which is a kilometer <coughs> segment, which will be really fun. Um, so yeah, gonna be using that Garmin watch there. Um, this one's called the Solar, um, I'm not sure what the exact model, but a Garmin Solar Watch. Um, so yeah, excited to give that a go. <laughs> so just off for a little warm up um, before we get into the challenges. Do you know how many challenges you've got to do? Four. Four challenges, right. And the majority of them are running challenges, I presume, but we have no idea yet what they are. Gonna do, yeah, little warm up and then get started. Well 
Whilst not essential, speed can be an important aspect within any training and trail running is no different. For this challenge, you will have a one kilometer loop to complete to see how fast your combined efforts will be overall. Should we be back to back? Does yeah, this look back right? Back yeah. <laughs> Poppy and Ben, are you ready? I think so, yeah. We'll find out in a second. Marvellous. <laughs> They're standing back to back, ready to go. I'll give them a quick countdown now and the challenge will begin. Okay, guys, three, two, one, and go. And they're off. Through here. Go, go, go. How was that? Oh, hard work. You absolutely flew out of the gates and you come <laughs> flying back up that hill then. Had a little what was your time? Of, uh, 3 minutes 17. Wow. That's what? Nice. That was a little bit of uh, oh my God. an issue with the watch over the first like 10 meters, but it's just sort of yeah, figuring out what screen to put it on. Yeah. Once had that sorted, it's flying. Happy days. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I've done my kilometre in 3.17, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Andy's just about to start on here, so I'm going to follow him for as far as I can. Here he goes. He's off. Let's see how he gets on. So follow the orange side. Just there. Have fun. Thank you. you got it. So there we go, we just finished the second challenge, which is running charades. How did that look from your point of view, Harry? Uh, I've never done anything like that in terms of a presenting standpoint. Um, yeah. I thought you did quite well though, like your impressions were pretty good. I, I do love a good game of charades at, at Christmas time, I must admit. Um, yeah, that was a fun, exciting challenge. Not all running challenges today, which is, which is nice. Um, we're just heading down now to challenge number three. Yep. Um, Harry hasn't revealed that one yet. He's got it on his cards. Um, so we're just gonna yeah, head to the next location and find out what the next challenge is. The next challenge is hill reps. We're both going to do five um, hill reps as fast as we can in our relay teams and see how we get on. Good job, Andy. Good job, Poppy. Good job. I've done three, Andy's done four. How are you feeling? Knackered? No words. <laughs> yeah. no it's words. a very steep hill to be fair. It's horrible. Whew. And I'm off. Rep number four. So we're just about to find out what uh, challenge number four is. There's two boxes here. No idea just yet. Harry's just going to reveal it to camera. Okay, so this first question will be for Andy and Poppy. Andy and Poppy, if you get it right, you can have a girl from here. If you get it wrong, whatever than there. So within five meters either side, how high is Box Hill above sea level? So we just finished challenge number four of the day, which was a sort of running trivia quiz. In these two boxes behind me, one was a forfeit and one was a sort of nice gel box. So in here we had the science in sports and in here 
we had the nasty gels, which were sachets of brown sauce, ketchup, and English mustard. So Andy, bless him, had to um, yeah eat one of the the mustard shots because he got one of the questions wrong. But but luckily I didn't get any wrong. So yeah, nice sights and sport for me. We're just heading back to the Pro Direct van, which is over here, and then we're on to challenge number five. Enjoy, guys. Thank Off for a 5k challenge. See if the watch is loaded, all right? Yeah, I've got the what? I've got the route, so it should be all right. I've got a map now. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't there on the last one. Just saying to the guys, we've been going downhill now for a good uh, one or two kilometers, which means the way back's going to be fun. Oh wow, it looks like there's a bit of a viewpoint here through there. Should we have a little look? Yeah. While we're here, slightly off the map. But, wow, look at that. Beautiful. That's amazing. This is proper trail running this. I don't usually get this around where I live. Going up and down, over tree roots, over the rocks, through the mud. We're really putting the shoes to the test, which I suppose is, is the purpose of this last challenge. Um, yeah, we're all still together, which is good. Coming up to around the 2K mark. But yeah, on the way back, it's definitely going to be a lot more uphill running, having still going down here. Um, oh. A little bit slippy, but yeah, the shoes are performing really well. Thank you very much. Just going down the stair set of doom by the look of things. Very, very muddy, so just got to be careful of my feet, my footing here. Guys are coming down as well. Ooh, just about made it. We were just saying the women's colourway is really nice. I mean, the red and blue is nice, but personal preference, I prefer that yeah. lilac and, and pink. Look really good. Yeah. Everyone all right? Yeah. We're just good. Oh, lovely. Hanging in there. <laughs> We're going up and we have, the, have been for the last uh, probably about 10 minutes now. Um, we've resorted to walking. The shoes are great, but they don't make you run faster up hills, unfortunately. Um, yeah, some serious hills here in Surrey. A lot of a lot of us are not really used to that, or me especially, being from the flat Essex and and not used to this sort of elevation. But how are you guys getting on? Same as you. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's struggling a little bit. Yeah. Whew. We might have come to the top of this nope. little hill. We're still going. Still going. I think we're going straight up there. I think. Okay. okay. Lovely hilly route, um, just over five kilometers. We're just getting a few little shots um, for Pro Direct Instagram and their socials and stuff. Um, a few more running shots through this bit together. A little bit of a behind the scenes, but yeah, it's been a really good day so far. Um, all the challenges are now complete. We're gonna have some lunch in just a minute and then yeah, coffee and, and I'll be driving back home. Um, but it's been a really good day so far. I'll give you a little more, little bit more of a debrief later on, but yeah, it's been really good fun. So I'm back in the car. We've just finished filming um, with ProDirect and Nike running, testing the new uh, trail running range. Um, I was wearing the Terra Kaiga 8, which were, yeah, phenomenal shoe. I was really impressed, actually. I was expecting them to be a little firm and heavy. Um, having not tried the Nike trail shoes before, but I've heard sort of things that they may not been, be the best um, trail running shoes. But I was seriously impressed with the new Terra Kaiga 8. I think I'll make a full first impressions video come in in the next few days after I've used the shoes a little bit more um, but they handled the hill work really well they're really comfortable for the for the 5k trail run that we did just before lunch there it was a pleasure um, to meet everyone especially Andy the Forest of Dean runner um, me and me and Andy have been um, close friends now sort of in the on the online space for a good couple of months 
almost a year now, I think. So it's nice to actually meet him in the flesh. We've done lots of Zoom calls and, and collaborations on YouTube. But yeah, I can confirm he is very, very tall. It was also a pleasure to meet Poppy and Alex as well. I'll leave a link to their Instagram handles down below. I believe Alex was called She Loves the Trail and Poppy was called Poppy Runs. Um, and obviously Andy the Forest of Dean, Fod Runner. Um, yeah, special thank you again to Katie and Tom from Pro Direct um, and all the film crew down there today. They made it a really fun day out. Um, I look forward to sharing you my full first impressions of the Terrakiger 8 once I've run in them a little bit more. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you with another video soon. Bye-bye.